Well, a lot of you guys watch my channel and uh, notice I do a lot of things. I work on the cars, I make movies, and I do what I think is funny skits, but uh, sometimes don't turn out to be that way. But I'm making a movie right now. Uh, I've been shooting it maybe over a year, but uh, it's called The Hog Riders, and it's my artsy attempt at film. Uh, I've made quite a few other movies, and, and they were all scripted. And it's kind of hard to follow a script, or you follow your your screenplay or whatever you want to call it, your story. So I usually, come, on this one, I come up with it in my head and decided to uh, work it as I go. And it gives me more leverage. It doesn't really pin me down. So uh, I'm not cheating myself out of some neat things. Hey, I got a great idea. You guys can be millionaires, you know? Not only that, people would pay to watch somebody ride it, but they pay to ride it themselves. So, what I'm wanting to share with you today is uh, the cameras I use. Now, I used to use some pretty, uh, pretty expensive cameras. Uh, but on this film, what I've used mostly was uh, my phone. Because you got your phone with you all the time, so you can uh, you got you can take advantage of shots. Like we was out riding around one day, and it was just a bunch of buzzards out there eating a deer, and, and so I took you know pictures of that, and now that can be a part of my movie, and so so it doesn't limitate you know limitate you. I, I use this can a lot too, especially for dark shots, but uh, most of them is on the phone. Which brings me up to why I'm even doing this is uh, I like old movies and somebody gave me, get some light on my face, somebody gave me some uh, from a video store. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So there was a video store up in Czech, Virginia, which is in Floyd. And uh, I guess he went out of business 10 years ago. So these tapes have been stored. So, uh, I've got boxes of these things. Uh, I, he gave them to me. Every one of those boxes is full. And what I've been doing is, is going through them, trying to find names I like. But a lot of them's got mold. See the mold? And they've been wet. So I've been just throwing them away. And this is what I want to show you. That was all empty. So those are just tapes I'm throwing away which I kind of hate to do, but see, they've been wet. They was in storage and wet and, uh, and had a lot of mold on them. So uh, I'm going to load these up. These, I think you can see water in that one. I'll throw that one's got water. And uh, I can't open it with one hand, but I'll go through all these and look. There you go, some more mold, see? Those up in the trucks all clean. These are the ones that had mold on it, so uh, I have to go through them and see. Now you could probably play these, but they'd probably tear up your recorder. And uh, and you can't even buy them no more, so you'd have to be buying used recorders, and you couldn't sell them. Nobody would, I don't think, give you any money for a moldy tape. But but uh, that's what happens to movies when 
Nobody watches them anymore. 